somebody do a no look truck lock? Huh? No. Nope. Never, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what you get when you mix. Just raw talent with years of practice and a boat that's so straight I can't get on because the trolling motor is right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not in Alabama anymore. Turn this sucker. I think I should just stand here by myself. Okay, go ahead. I'm scared to go out there in that big water by myself. I'll just sit here whenever you're ready. Just come get me. I'll just be right here. Just whenever you get time and your busy schedule, I'll be right here. <laughs> you just gotta jump. I just gotta jump? Yeah. But I can't drop my jig. Don't drop your jig. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it for New York. This is where we are. Kyle, I got this up here. You worry about yourself. We tried to put it in a different place, but the water was very, very wavy. There's these things called waves. Called big, big waves, very, very much. There's thing called what? Big waves, very, very much, much waves. We are in New York, fishing Lake Oneida. This is actually the last lake that I fished in the opens whenever I qualified for the elites. This was one that I had to have a really good finish in. Came up here, made the third day, and uh, qualified for the elites. Now we're fishing the Bassmaster Elite. So pretty cool to be back on Lake Oneida. First time I've been back since I fished that tournament here. Pretty cool lake. I like this lake a lot. It's really, really diverse. It's got a lot of different ways to catch smallmouth, a lot of different ways to catch largemouth. Really, really cool and interesting place. Smallmouth consistently win here. Um, Multi-day tournaments, that is. Single-day tournaments, I think it goes both ways. Multi-day tournaments, just those 17-pound bags of smallmouth on this lake in particular seem to add up. So, tying up some 8-pound shooter on a little drop shot right now. This right here is a Missile Baits Ned Bomb and Wicked Guild. This is a tournament tackle exclusive code. Golly! Hunter done got the script down pat, dude. This right here is, that is exactly what this is. This is a Tournament Tackle exclusive color. If y'all seen some other videos I've mentioned, Tournament Tackle has exclusive colors of a lot of the Missile Baits, some other brands too, but Missile Baits are the ones that I use the most. So that's the ones I'm the most up to date with. Another cool deal, they got a custom color. Hunter, hang me one of them jigs out of that box right there. I'm gonna show y'all this. We also just made a tournament tackle exclusive color and that means you're only going to be able to find this exact jig at tournament tackle it's in one of them white packs like the ace jigs come in come on hunter you can do it well i've seen it but there wasn't any this is for that but there's no jigs well, that's because i already got one tied on this is the tournament tackle exclusive color wicked gill That sucker is beautiful. Pretty. Turned out freaking awesome. Tournament Tackle has a few colors that they make with almost all the, the brands that they carry. You know, they've got they've got them from Missile, a lot of the other big soft plastic companies, and then now Untamed Tackle. My jig that I designed, the Ace Jig, we've got that in exclusive color at Tournament Tackle. So those are only those exclusive colors are only available at Tournament Tackle. They're also gonna have some of the other colors of Ace Jigs and Untamed Tackle jigs as well. So Go check them out at Untamed Tackle, but we're about to catch a dang bass right here on Lake Oneida. When you're fishing up north, <clears throat> always trim your motor up when you stop to fish. Because, uh, it's shallow. But he's a little rambunctious little sucker, ain't he? Yeah, he like came in the boat. Oh, 
Look at my rod. First small in a while, huh? In a while. Says Pickwick. Pretty little little chubber. Got him. Watched him come eat it. Smallmouth good one. This is my favorite bait for smallies. This is a big one, Hunter. <laughs> Dude, he is freaking killing it. you bit me for it's a little chubber a little tank what do you think he weighs um, two, pounds. two pounds let's weigh him to see one pound one pound yeah give me your official guess my official guess yep um 312 312 <laughs> you think he's a four pounder how big is he? <laughs> so, so right now Hunter's got dialed in somewhere between one pound and three twelve. I don't know. Let's look at it. He's like a three five, I guess. I don't know. I really don't got no idea. He's gonna weigh like three thirty. I guess. I don't really know. Three thirty two. Beautiful fish. Get a, a release. <clears throat> Lake Oneida, what we got, Hunter? A big one. Big one. Are you going to get him in? Got them angles going. What do you got, honey? Oh my gosh, it's big. Look how big it is. I don't even know how to catch him. Look how big it is. How do I make it stop going? You know, you just wait till he gets tired of going. Oh, really? We have to do that? Yeah, you don't make him stop going. He stopped. He stopped. Okay, let's get him. Hold on. Easy. He's tired now. Can you see him? Yeah, I can see him. Oh, he's a big one. 
We got a big one. We do got a big one. Not a bass. Really Are pretty. you a bass fisherman, Kyle? Yeah. Look, look how little his mouth is. You come up north to catch smallmouth. That's the smallest mouth with the biggest body that you can catch, I feel like. Look how beautiful. He's a pretty one. Super, super pretty one. Ready? We have arrived in New York. We've been here a couple days actually. Fished Oneida for a day, didn't film. Actually tried to film, didn't catch any, started raining. But then we caught a few after it started raining, so we didn't get any of the fish on video. Wait, we did catch, um, we did catch a catfish and we did catch a bluegill. Oh, we did catch a giant catfish and a, and a giant bluegill. Oh, catfish off the bed and then the bluegill. So, had a good time with Oneida. Came to Champlain, Plattsburgh's where we are now. Fished with a buddy of mine on the Elite's Taku yesterday on a lake, you know, in between here and the St. Lawrence River, which is our next stop. Had a good time. And then now, practice starts in the morning bright and early on Champlain. It's daylight now for like 15 hours. So we got a couple of 14, 15, 16 hour days ahead of us before this tournament. It's gonna be a grind. It's a big lake, a really big lake, but it's got some really small areas that always seem to produce the best quality fish. And we've got like 42 hours of practice to figure out exactly where I wanna spend my tournament. So excited, it's a really good lake. There is no way this is gonna be a tough one. This is just the best lake in the country. Everybody's going to be catching fish. Everybody's going to be catching a bunch of fish. It's just, can you catch a couple of those three and a half to four pounders every day to move you up the leaderboard? And if you want to move way up the leaderboard, you better have close to five, four pounders a day. So, that's the plan for this week. Let's go catch some four pounders.